couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, we're gonna learn a fingerstyle arrangement of Layla. First, I'm gonna play my arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> Before we start, I just want to mention that this is a donation by one of your fellow viewers, one of your fellow students, uh, purchased as a private arrangement and donated to the channel for everyone's enjoyment. So thank you very much, private student. So uh, we have quite a few parts ahead of us to learn. We have the intro riff, the intro solo, the verse, the chorus, and the whole outro solo, which is supposed to be improvised. So I'm gonna show you a lot of ideas, I'm gonna show you positions around the neck, I'm gonna show you how to integrate the chords, and also the variation on the original electric guitar solo, which is originally in A minor. Okay, so I, I play it here. Because this is in D minor, the, um, the unplugged version on which I based the arrangement. So, we have a long way ahead, and uh, the solo itself will be a whole section. So let's start with the intro riff, uh, which is simplicity itself. You just start with 0, 3 on the A string, then the D string. That's the opening lick. And then D minor, you play strings 1, 2, and 3. Then 3, 1 on the A string. Now it's B flat, so you play the B flat chord. You play strings 2, 3, and 4 on uh, 3. And then one three on the A string into a C chord. So you play one three and then the chord strings two, three, and four. And then uh, three on the fifth string and the D string. Now you can uh, play the chord and then start it again, or you can just start it again without the D minor here. So it's um, okay, without D minor again at the end. But if you want to play D minor, so just uh, forget about the A chord. It will replace the A chord. So uh, the A chord, sorry, the A note, the A bass note, like this. Um, okay, instead of, you'll play. Okay, so this is open to interpretation as well. And that's basically the intro riff. You just repeat it twice. starts with this and you have the bass notes integrated so one three on the second string and then the D string with um, hammer on pull off on the E string zero one zero okay zero one zero nothing fancy and then it's three on the second string zero one on the E string and then three on the second string again and then the B flat bass Okay, one on the fifth string, so it's... 
And then you can play three on the second string again. Then the C bass, three on the fifth string. And you play this. So it's C, the C bass, with the open E string, one on the E string, and then the same hammer on pull off, zero, one, zero, then one, three on the second string, and with three you play the D bass again. So it's. And then it's zero, one on the E string, and then the D bass, then zero, one, three, then the B flat bass. Then one three five, and you um, no, yeah, it's uh, one three, one three five, and then you play the C bass. Then three five eight, and you can play eight on the sixth string as well. So you retain the bass notes. So again. Then it's 5-8, then it's um, with the D string, you have 10-12, okay, and then you have a hammer on pull off, 10-12-10, and 13 on the second string, and then you have 5 on the E string with 6 on the 6th string, okay, for B flat, so it's D, okay, and then It's the same C lick as before, or something simple if you want to variate to play something a bit different. Um, it's just uh, one on the E string, open E string with C, and then one, and then one, three on the second string into D minor. Okay, so play the D bass, or play the previous C lick. Okay, from the first phrase. Um, and then you just play the intro again. And then you stop at C. You don't uh, go to D minor. So it's D minor, B flat, C. And then uh, it's 0, 3 on the A string again. And then the verse starts. So let's repeat the solo. D. C, D, D, B flat, C, C again, D, B flat, C, D, and then the, and then the opening leg again, zero, three on the fifth string. Now the verse. The verse starts with C sharp minor, so it's a bar on four A minor shaped, and you play the bass note first, four on the fifth string. Now you can play the chord as a, you know a beginning uh, harmony, setting up the harmony for the ear, and the melody is this. Okay, it's six 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 four on the third string then 6-4 on the 4th. So... And then you put on um, G sharp minor, still a bar on 4, E minor shaped, and... Okay, it's 6 on the 4th string, and 4 on the 3rd. This. This is the melody. So... It's the C sharp minor line again. Okay, up to six on the fourth. Then you play this. This sounds a bit weird, but it's the correct harmony. It's D. This is a D chord head, and this is an E. If this is D, then this is E because D D sharp E. So um, this is an E chord head. So um, it's four and five on strings four and five. And then I slide it, but I play the sixth string along with it. I slide it two frets up. And then we get this. Okay? And uh, 
this is the key change. Now there's a 251 move uh, for E. And it's this F sharp minor. You can put the whole chord on or just the bar or just this 2, 2, and 2 on strings 2, 3, and 6. Okay? So you can bar it. Again, you can bar the chord. You can just bar the second fret or you can put this shape on. Okay? 2, 2, and 2 strings. Two, three, and six. And you play the bass, then you play strings two and three, three times. Then you have B7. You play strings two, three, four, and five. The open second string is the melody note. Then you play it again, the open second string. Then you have E. Okay, so one, one on the third string is the melody, and you can play the whole chord. Okay, you can hear it in there. And then on the fourth string, the D string, you slide from two to four, and then you play two again with the A bass, okay, the fifth string. So you have a five there. And then you do everything again just without A. Um, F sharp minor, okay, the bass, then the chord three times, make sure you're playing the second uh, string. And then um, B7, and make sure you're playing the second string twice. Then you play the third string, then the second string. And then E. And one on the third string is the melody again, so I just play strings three, four, and six. And that's the verse. Okay, C sharp minor, G sharp minor. C sharp minor again. And then D, E. Then F sharp minor. B7, E, A5, F sharp minor again, B7, E. That's the whole verse. A lot easier than the intro, actually, uh, because it's all in the chords. Then you have the chorus. The chorus um, is the same chord progression as the intro, but with the melody on it, so you have to be a bit creative. So you start with 5 on the E string with the A bass. I suggest you do it with the pinky because then you're closer to D minor, so... And this is the first note, it's D minor, you play strings 2, 3, and 4. And then... A3-1 on the A string and then the B flat chord, just like in the intro. Then you have this. Okay, it's C with 3 on the E string. Okay, and I keep playing the E string three more times, so... And then it's this D minor. It's five, six, seven on strings one, two, and three with the open D string. And then I got the next notes uh, already on. It's strings two and then three. Okay, and then I play the D string again to indicate a new bar. So, uh, the first click. A bass, don't forget. C, and then, and then again, okay, or just B flat, without the 3-1, um, so then you have this, okay, it's um, 5 with 3 on the 5th string, okay, 5 on the E string, 3 on the 5th string, um, and then 3 on the E string, then you have to let it go because you do... One pull off a zero on the E string, then you put on D minor, you play strings two and three, and then the bass. Okay? To get the syncopation. So. And then one three on the second string. D bass, and then B flat again. And then um, this. It's um, the C bass, and three one three one. On the E string, using your pinky and forefinger. And then it's 5 3. So I slide my pinky and I go back and play the bass again when I play 3. Okay? To keep it going. And then um, 1 0 on the E string again. Then okay, 3 2 on strings 2 3 inside D minor. And then the D bass. Uh, and then, of course. And if you want to play another verse, 
you start the C sharp minor again. So the chorus again. Let's go over it again. It's um, A D minor B flat. Then C with three on the E string. High D minor. And then A five three one below to zero three on the second string. And then. One three on the second string, and then three one on the E string. Five three, and then one zero on the E string. Three on the second string, harmonized by D minor, and then of course the chord progression itself. So now we are at the solo. Um, first of all. If you want the um, the original line that Eric Clapton uses to start with, it's eight and ten on strings one and two, but play it with fingers two and four, and yeah, you get this, and you play it with the D bass, and then you play it with the B flat bass on six on the bass, then you can play it with C on eight on the bass. And then uh, I think I did this. Okay, I slid from eight to ten on the E string with the D, um, the D bass. Now it's written in the tab because I always write my tabs after I make the lesson to include any variation that I showed during the lesson and make sure it appears in the tab. So um, that's the um, the intro lick. Then you have D minor here. Um, the scales. So you have uh, eight, six, five, eight, six, five on strings one and two, and then seven and five on the third string. So you can uh, use that. Now, as you saw, you have the open D string, six on the bass, eight on the bass, four B flat and C. So you can just play around with it and uh, create your own melodies and just make sure that you're keeping the bass notes D, B flat, C, D. Just practice it slowly. Okay, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Now, except for eight, six, and five on the E string, you have all the rest of the notes here. Okay, so this makes it a lot easier. Uh, you have three one zero okay, on the E string. You have three one on the second string. You have uh, three two zero on the third string, and you have three on the fourth string. But you need that for D, so I suggest you don't use it. So, okay, if you want to use it anyway, so um, you can just picture an F chord shape here if you are having trouble memorizing it, and just add threes all around three 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 on strings one two and three, and you have all the notes except for the open E string. Um, so you can just take ideas from the intro, change the rhythm a little. Okay, you don't have to even use hammer-ons and pull-offs, just try to create melodies. Now, I know it's a lot easier when I already know how to do it, but I'm trying to give you simple examples to get you started. So just remember the bass notes. It really doesn't matter which way you take the solo, in which direction. As long as you keep the bass notes going, it's gonna sound fine. So, D, B flat, C, D. Now, it doesn't even have to be that complicated. You can repeat a lick and just change the bass notes and it'll work. Okay, let's try the second string. Rhythmically. Um, let's try the third string. Okay, I, I took it in a different direction. Inspiration struck, so I used it. So you see, it's really nothing fancy as long as you keep the bass notes going. Immediately you have a finger style arrangement of a solo. Um, the more you try it, the better you'll get at it. Just give it a week and you'll see, you'll have a spectacular solo at the end of it. 
So, um, the original line, I play it here. Okay, so it's two hammer on to five on the third string, and then three hammer on to six, pull off to three on the second string, and then five on the third, and three on the second string again, and when I play the last note, I play the D bass string with it. Okay? Or I play it afterwards. And then you have this. Okay? It's three on the E string with the B flat bass, and then one on the E string, um, the open E string with the C bass, one on the second string, and then three on the second string with D again. That's the first ending. So. Okay? The second ending is this. Um, it starts with five on the E string, so you have the B flat bass on six on the E string. So, the E bass string, I mean. Um, and then, um, Actually, you can play three on the E string, but it's better to play six on the second string. That way you keep the bass note going. So, okay, six on the second string, and then same ending. Open E string with C, one, three on the second string, and to D. Okay, so um, the whole uh, riff. D. Five and six on both E strings, six on the second string. And now it's a lot better if you play the bass notes after each lick, it gives it the correct syncopation, like this. See? The notes um, come before the bass notes. And you can also play this if you want. from 0 to 3 on the A string, and then hammer on pull off on the D string, 0, 3, 0, 3 on the A string, and then D minor, you start with the D string. And you can just end on D minor there. So there you have it, Leila, arranged four finger style guitar. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a lot of lessons already on the channel, actually tons of lessons, almost 300 lessons by now. How did that happen? And everything, of course, is for free uh, right here on Lake and Ref, including the tabs. Go download the tabs. They're for free on the channel, uh, on the website, actually. The description below holds the link to the tabs. Go download the tab. And if you want to give something back anyway, everything is for free. But if you want to donate to the channel and help uh, keep the lessons going and help in the production of your guitar education, then there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. It says donate. It's oval, it's blue, and it's um, a sight for sore eyes. Not really, but, you know, um, I didn't have anything better to say. So um, I'll let you go practice this, and uh, you have fun. Enjoy. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.